okay, I have to follow Patricia Heaton and a four-star general. <laughs> As I thought about what I would say today, one thing that came to my mind was actually parallels. And by parallels, I mean we're both from Chicago. We both tried out for the play West Side Story when we were teenagers, and that was the thing that got us into the business. We both were active in theater companies. He was Steppenwolf. I was a group called The Organic Theater. We both made trips to New York, doing theater there. Decided to move to Los Angeles, where we got involved in films and television. We both raised families. Both have wonderful wives. We have wonderful children. And now, currently, we're even on a show with the same name. <laughs> And what's great is we get to play best of buddies, guys that actually have a history. So it's one of those instances where art really does imitate life. And then now, here we are on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the street with all these names. And literally, six years ago this month, I was fortunate enough to have one put about 20, I had to walk over myself to get here. It's, just, it's about 25 feet that way. But how, 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 how appropriate that Gary's would be here under the supply sergeant. And then when, I, when, they, when they spoke on my behalf, I had a guy from Chicago, David Mammoth, speak on my behalf, and I had a three-star Marine General speak on my behalf. It's also fitting that Gary would have a four-star speak on his behalf. But at this point is when the parallels end. And by that I mean, Gary's service reminds me of the American Eagle. And at times I feel like the sparrow that flies in the shadow of that eagle. Because the military is my hot button as well. I mean, I'm not a political person. I don't, I, I don't, I don't give a heck what people, people vote for or whatever their political thing is. I'm just happy to be in a country where we have the freedom to do that. And the reason we have the freedom to do that The reason we have the freedom to do that is due to the sacrifices made by our military. And, and so I think of, the, and to paraphrase something that I had said at the time, six years ago, and I know Gary understands this more than anybody I know. We've lived a very blessed life, he and I, and many of us here. And this, this street, Hollywood Boulevard, is known throughout the world as this place where, yeah, you come, you see these stars, you see all these people's names, wow, these, this is, how cool is this? And for the most part, many of these names are the names of people who have lived their lives portraying heroic figures, and they're being honored for it. And that's such a great and wonderful tribute. But what Gary hasn't forgotten is that there are other places around the world where there are also names inscribed, and they're on walls, and they're on plaques, and they're on tombstones. And these are the names of men and women who did not live their lives portraying heroes. These are men and women who gave their lives being heroes. Yeah. And that's the difference. Many of us grew up in the year of Bob Hope, and he was the gold standard for people who support our military. All I can tell you is there is no living person in our industry who does more for our military than Gary Sinise. And his yeah. So since there are two other quotes that were given, little poems, it's fitting I would have a poem I came up with that I felt kind of describes this day, this moment, this man, 